Good evening. The game you're about to see is the most stupid, appalling, disgusting and disgraceful exhibition of football possibly in the history of the game. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 World Cup controversies. Quindi ecco lo spettacolo sportivo che diventa anche uno strumento politico poderoso. For this list, we'll be looking at scandals involving the football slash soccer FIFA World Cup since its inception in 1930. We'll only be exploring incidents around the main tournament, not during qualifications. Which nation do you think will win the 2022 World Cup in Qatar? Let us know below. Number 10, the Battle of Santiago. Well, that's one of the sorriest and most stupid, incredible spectacles I've ever seen anywhere in the world. On paper, this should have been a pretty standard match in Group 2 during the 1962 tournament. But thanks to the drama going on behind the scenes with Italian journalists stirring the pot by criticizing Chile's capital Santiago, tempers boiled over on the pitch. Even BBC broadcaster David Coleman introduced the game's highlights by describing it as the most, quote, disgusting and disgraceful exhibition of football, end quote. Within 12 seconds after kickoff, there was already a foul. From there, Italy had two players sent off, with one being escorted off the pitch by the police. And there's trouble already. There's a fight going on in the middle there. Well, this looks like turning into a real battle. The ref could have issued more red cards as players punched each other, with one even getting a broken nose. The 2-0 win for Chile was vastly overshadowed by the violence. And in fact, I think the game is over. Ken Aston on his way to the dressing room. I don't think there's ever been a football match played like this in Chile or indeed anywhere else in the world. Number 9. The Disgrace of Gijón In another Group 2 match, this time in 1982, the final game of the group was a battle between West Germany and Austria. However, going into the match, if West Germany won by one or two goals, they and Austria would qualify for the knockout round since Algeria and Chile faced each other the day before. In the end, West Germany came away with a 1-0 win that included a barrage of accusations that the two nations fixed the match. After the lone goal was scored, West Germany passed the ball around amongst themselves, with Austria barely putting in any effort. FIFA conducted an investigation, but found that no rules were broken by the teams. This incident made sure that feature final group games were played at the same time. Number 8. French Discontent With emotions running high in 2010, the French team completely imploded during the tournament. They were expected to pass through Group A with no real problem. Instead, they finished last. In the process of losing to Mexico, at halftime, manager Raymond Domenech clashed with Nicolas Anelka, causing the striker to be sent home. His outraged teammates went on strike and refused to train. This drama resulted in international bans for Anelka, Captain Patrice Evra, and the dismissal of Dominic. There are several parties who are responsible for this disaster, and I measure my words, disaster, which is what I continue to call it. But it's not the only time Le Bleu have let down their fans on the biggest stage. In the 2006 final against Italy, legendary figure Zinedine Zidane lost his temper and headbutted Marco Materazzi in the chest. The Italians ended up winning the game. You can't excuse that. Zidane's career ends in disgrace. Number 7. Bossing a Match In 1982, Kuwait made it to the World Cup for the first time. While fans were ecstatic about this achievement, the Kuwait FA president and prince of the nation, Sheikh Fahad Al Ahmad Al Jabbar Al Sabah, had other ideas. During the Group 4 clash with France, a whistle was blown in the stands, causing the Kuwait team to stop. Well, France continued playing and scored. As Kuwait's players protested, Fahad stormed onto the pitch to argue with the referee. Fahad reportedly threatened to make the team walk out. For some bizarre reason, the goal was disallowed. Now, you're probably expecting an epic Kuwait comeback, but no. France scored again and the match ended 4-1. Number 6. Saluting Scandal Looking back at the 1938 World Cup, a tournament featuring Italy and Germany, countries that were both led by fascist regimes, one would expect that things would be really tense. And Team Italy made sure of that. In one instance, as the country's players lined up to face Norway before a match, the team lifted their arm and did the infamous grim Roman salute. In the quarterfinals, Italy faced France. However, with both teams wearing blue, the Azzurri had to switch to their away kit, which was usually white, but instead wore an all-black kit. 
a color closely associated with Benito Mussolini's ideology. While the crowd regularly showed their displeasure, that didn't stop Italy from winning the World Cup that year, much to the discomfort of many. Number 5. Trophy Stolen Before it was the World Cup trophy, it was the Jules Rimet Trophy, named after one of the people that helped create the tournament. In 1966, months before the competition got underway in England, the famous trophy was stolen from its public exhibition. The thieves then demanded a ransom for its return from the FA. Instead, they called the cops. However, despite apprehending a suspect, the famous trophy was still missing. The general feeling that the people had that the police weren't going to find this cup. Then, one day, a man named David Corbett was walking his dog Pickles. The pup soon discovered a package that contained the cup. And then I saw the gold top of the trophy, which is a woman holding a shallow dish. Suddenly, I realized what it was. My heart leapt. Oh, God, this is World Cup. While Corbett got a hefty monetary reward, Pickles received a lot of media attention and even appeared in films. Good boy. Number four, South Korea allegations. For the first time in World Cup history in 2002, there were two hosting nations, Japan and South Korea. But sadly, rather than be remembered for this historic event, South Korea was engulfed by a scandal. When facing Italy, something strange seemed to be happening. The referee Byron Moreno was making decisions to seemingly favor South Korea, such as disallowing goals and booking Italians. In the end, South Korea won the match. In the next round, similar incidents of dodgy calls happened in the win against Spain by ref Gamal Algandur. Afterward, Moreno was suspended and later dropped by FIFA, while Algandur was tainted with allegations that he received a car from then FIFA VP Chung Mun Joon, who is South Korean, for his work. Number 3. Hand of God if you were to ask England fans what the biggest scandal their national team faced was, after a few angry grunts and tears, they would mention this moment. In 1986, Argentina took on the Brits in the quarterfinals. In the second half, with the score still goalless, a botched clearance by Steve Hodge caused the ball to fly toward the England goal. Goalkeeper Peter Shilton ran to get it, only to be beaten to the ball by the much smaller Diego Maradona. The English players screamed for handball. Everyone had seen the infringement, except Tunisian referee Benacua. Even though the goal was allowed, replays showed the Argentine legend had punched the ball. It was my hand. With this, I don't mean any disrespect to English fans. But this is something that happens. This event even threatens to outshine the magic of Maradona when he scored the goal of the century during the same match. And he's hurting England again here. It's a brilliant run. It's one of the World Cup great goals. Number two, senseless slaying. It was a dreadful mistake by Escobar. I don't think anybody had any idea at the time what the consequences of, of that comedy own goal would have been for, for that player. Before the 1994 tournament, there were allegations that something seedy was happening with the Colombian team. Cartels and syndicates were apparently threatening the team to perform well. Afterwards, 27-year-old defender Andres Escobar was assassinated in Colombia, believed to be revenge for scoring an own goal in the match against the U.S. Humberto Castro Munoz, a cartel member, was arrested for the murder. He was originally sentenced to 43 years in prison, but was released for good behavior in 2005. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Cutter's Human Rights With allegations of slavery and poor human rights, the tournament has been shadowed in controversy since the host nation was announced. Proponents say Qatar has shown its commitment to football and Western arrogance is at play. Many in the Middle East and Arab world are proud to be hosting a first World Cup and only the second in Asia. Its gas riches mean Qatar will put on a spectacular tournament, but at a heavy price for many. Teething problems. After biting Italy's Giorgio Chiellini, Uruguay's Luis Suarez received record-breaking bans from the sport. There are things that happen. You should not make such a big deal out of them. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. Over the Line? 
Even all these years later, no World Cup final has left a mark as much as this one. In 1966, the Globe watched as West Germany faced first-time hosts England. With the score 2-2 at the end of 90 minutes, the match went into extra time. In the 101st minute, England's Jeff Hurst fired a shot that thundered against the bar and bounced off the goal line. The linesman says no. Immediately, the referee was unsure whether it had crossed the line. After conversing with the very adamant assistant ref, the goal was controversially given. It's a goal! It's a goal! All oh, the Germans go mad at the referee! Looking back, it seems like the whole ball didn't cross the line. Just before the game was over, Hurst completed his hat trick, securing the trophy for England by winning 4-2. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.